Greetings! Welcome to Bruce's Eclectic World. As you can see, we were rebooting, or I should say, booting the HAL 9000. And there goes the phone. <laughs> Good thing this is just a test recording. Maybe. Anyway, <clears throat> today we're going to do some customizing, not rising, customizing of the HAL 9000. I will show you some of the screens that I made. Unfortunately, I cannot show you the grab boost screen we're going to create because the HDMI port on the back of this laptop does not function until what you've seen earlier in the video when it's booting. It's about halfway through when that comes on. That is out of my control that I know of. We're going to log in, give it a play. Hopefully the capture card and your video card keeps, camera keeps working because I spent an hour trying to get the damn things working. Now I know why Linus cast bitches and moans about pulse audio and plugging the right damn video ports in at the right time. Yeah, making recordings are a pain in the ass. I said that too. Yes, ass. We're going to log in here, see what happens. Greetings! This is Future Bruce. I took some pictures of the laptops. Uh, I didn't mention that they're all Dell Latitude E6400 uh, laptops. There are six working laptops complete. The seventh one being a video monitor. I'm using a monitor on it. For an outside camera for my puppy dogs so I can see what they're doing. I have three more junk ones that I bought like in July, I think. Because uh, I need some various parts to fix the other two. I took pictures of them and I want to share those. So we're going to do a little screen thing here. Let me switch to the right screen. So we'll back up one picture. So these are, these are the Dell Latitudes. This one has a badge name Sal on it. I made those with my printer. And shipping tape. You know, if you're going to name them, you got to put, put their name on them. Uh, here's the two laptops with their mice. Man, I didn't realize they were that dusty. <laughs> well, I, just, I use them every day. And there's Sal and her uh, logging screen. And there's Hal with his, which I need to change this. These are bright red. They're coming up orange on this camera phone camera for some odd reason. There's Sal with her desktop custom made desktop backgrounds and yes I have my conkies. I know other people don't like them but I do. And there's Hal's and see again it shows up as orange and it's that color red. I don't I don't understand it. Explain that. Thank you, Moto. Rota la. Phone. <laughs> oh, well. It's just a picture, right? And there's a picture of the keyboards. Like I said, I made these with my printer. Just used a black background, printed them out, and used some shipping tape and slapped them on there. How has his? These keyboards are kind of bass backwards over here compared to other keyboards. And then your thumb's always hitting this thing. 
I would disable that, but I'm not sure how. That, that's beside the point. I just hold my thumbs up in the air. And there we are back at the beginning. Like I said, just a few pictures. And, uh... I just wanted, just wanted to show those. I was going to insert them somewhere in this video. I don't know where. Just somewhere. I'll pick a spot. Back to the video. Oh, future Bruce out. Bye. Okay, so before we do any booting into how, uh, a little bit of the backstory. I bought these two laptops. December 2020. And I bought another s set of laptops. There was three in June of 2020. And uh, July of 2020, I bought two more four parts. These were all four parts only. Uh, two of them I had to replace screens. They were cracked, but the laptops worked. And that, that's Hal and Sal. <laughs> then I had to buy a third screen because when you leave one of these laying on the laptop and you slam the lid shut, guess what it does to the screen? So I had to spend another $80 to buy another screen. But that's okay. And when you screw up, you screw up. So anyways, Sal laptop doesn't have the Intel sticker on it. But they're the same laptop. Same CPU, same RAM. Everything's the same. That's what I have for this backstory on these laptops. The original laptop I bought was a Dell. Uh... I loaned it out to my sister, and she still has it. I just told her to keep it. Uh, so that way, when I have to work on her desktop, she still has a, a computer to use, and she likes it. So it didn't cost me but 50 bucks. So <laughs> there you go. The hard drives are 250 uh, gig hard drives in these laptops. The How laptop has a Hitachi, and the Sal has a Toshiba. So, but the operating systems are exactly the same because I cloned Sal's hard drive off of How. Clonezilla, yeah, it's a good it's a good program once you learn how to use it, or use it correctly, I should say. Otherwise, you oops and wipe out the wrong hard drive. <laughs> yeah, did that once. Yeah, very careful now. It's kind of like using DD, this destroyer. It's called that for a reason. So if you're using Linux, don't use the DD command. No, 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 no. Bad stuff. Bad, bad, bad. Anyway, we're going to pause the video and get everything ready to start how up. And then we'll do some of the customizing, not rising. Customizing. I'll be right back. We're going to log into How here with my super secret password. Don't want to launch any space shuttles. These are uh, two core, four gig RAM CPUs. So I, they're on the old side. Uh, it takes a while for them to boot, but there again, if you're watching videos, uh, that's what they're. That's what I use them for. Especially when the power goes out, which here in, in Indiana is quite often. <laughs> At least I can watch my movies. I'm completely operational, and all my circuits are functioning perfectly. Yes, we have audio too. <laughs> Uh, hmm. Apparently, I need to adjust the screen. 
because you're not seeing what I'm seeing. One moment, please. Okay, we had to go into the display manager and uh, <laughs> clone the desktops. Is that the term? Because the capture card was only showing on the other side. Technology! If you know how to use it, it's a great thing. <laughs> you can see, I have a uh, how all decked out here. I already made these screens. Uh, of course, yes, I like my conkies. And as you can see, uh, the CPU and the RAM. It's an Intel. Dual core. 4 gigs of RAM. We're running Endeavor OS on these. A cinnamon version. Hmm. I took different bits and pieces of different files, image files that I found, and I, I made this, and I cut this out and added these in, and... Uh, made these up and enlarged these uh it didn't have all these buttons it didn't have the image of the guys that were sleeping the crew members since Hal was on the ship he had to monitor the crew so that's what this is all about here this is this part of the uh utopia yard stuff sal has the same things I'm doing this real time and through OBS is kind of weird. Hmm. One moment, please. And we're back. Okay, once again, I want to apologize for the fan noise. I will try to take that out. In post production, is that what they call that? Anyhow, we're going to go to file system and then US user share. And then backgrounds, where that's at. There it is. And here's the folder for how. Uh, these are all the files that pertain to HAL. We'll load them up in the image viewer here so you can get a look at them. Uh, these are just files I'll download off the internet. Uh, here's one I was going to use and I decided not to. Uh, here's one of them that I started. All these are work in progress. Different versions of it. Other people's concepts that they made. There's one I started I was going to use, but I took the computer out and redone all these. I took the eye and the speaker and the how and took that out of this, enlarged it, moved it around. Because I thought that was kind of cool looking.
and other just other various images that uh, I were going to use. That was kind of cool. <laughs> Uh, this is actually a kit that you used to be able to buy, and you could make this plaque. This is the kit. At one time, I was going to buy one, and it was like $79, and now it's like $180. I haven't checked in the last couple of years. There's the grub screen we're going to use. Like I said, these are all just various files that I downloaded and I just decided to keep them all together. I kind of thought that one was kind of cool. That'd be a good grub screen too. So let's go back here to the one we're going to use so we get the file name. Because we're going to need the file name. And we need to change this file. To a different size and I don't remember. I'm going to have to go look at Sal and see what I had to change it to. I'll be right back in a minute. Well, for you to be a second. Okay, we're back. It's uh, 640. So, we want to take that file name. IMB, IMB. That'll be this one. And we're going to open it with good old GIMP. We're going to close this. Uh, blink. We're going to go up here to images. We're going to scale images. Uh, 640. Tab. Cool beans. That works. Scale. And then we're going to go up here and export. Dash 640, so we know what the size is. And then we're going to export it. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> yeah, well, that makes a difference, doesn't it? So we're going to cancel this, and then we're going to close GIMP, and then we're, you know, cancel, discard changes. We're going to <laughs> open this as root. Duh. Apparently when you want to make changes, you need to be root. When it's in a root folder, that is. Okay, so let's do this again. Bless you, puppy dog.
Yeah, you will hear animal noises and all kinds of odd things. Hmm. 640 is our file size. Tab. Scale. File. Export as. IMB how. Dash. 640. And we're going to export. Export again. See, imagine that. It works when you're <laughs> the root user. Okay, we're going to disregard those changes. Close GIMP out. Now we're going to take this file. And we're going to use it somewhere else. But we're going to make, we got, we got to do a couple of things. And this is where you can really screw up your computer if you're not careful. Um... Let's get this full screen. Hit F3. Look at this screen. Go over here. We're going to go to our boot. Grub folder. Themes folder. I don't know how to make themes, but I do know how to edit them. <laughs> so we're going to copy this. Then we're going to paste it. Then we're going to rename it. Oops. Oh well. What's of F2 and F3, right? We're going to call this how. It's 9,000. So what we did, we took and copied the Endeavor OS theme, and we renamed it to HAL. The reason why I wanted that other folder open is because it was going to be easier to copy, but we just do the back button. And here we are. <laughs> okay, so where is our file? Everybody's yelling, pointing it out. There it is. All right, so we're going to copy this file. Then we're going to hit the forward button, forward button, and it's not working. That's how we can do this. It works just as well. Seems folder, and then we're going to go into how. Hmm. You seem to already have a how background. Did I do this in preparation for? I don't remember. But anyway, here we're going to do this. We're going to paste that right in there. And we're going to... Copy the name. Because then we're going to go over here to the themes.txt and we're going to edit this. And right here, desktop image. This is the background image that loads when your grub bootloader starts. Now, from experience, if you don't change the theme folder name, and you change just this, Endeavor OS will override it on the next update. That's why you need to create your own theme. Okay, so what I what I did on Sal was this. Copy the name. And I go down here. These keys on this keyboard are bass backwards. We 
And we're going to comment this one out. Always like a backup. Then we'll do Control V. Then we're going to go to the end and make sure we put another quotation mark. And that changes to that image. Okay. So that way, when it boots up, it uses that image. But we still have one more step to do. So we need to save this. File save. Close this. Minimize this. I know a lot of people don't like Grub Customizer, but I do. Why I didn't hit my thumb on the numpad, we'll, we'll be okay. I hit my left thumb on this scroll pad. Now we're in Grub Customizer. We're going to go over here to Appearances. And as you see here, it shows the theme. And this is what's in your theme folder. Actually, you can copy the file the image file to the theme folder and then load it from here and edit this in here. I just like doing it the other way because, hey, I'm old. I got gray hair. I can do that. So then we go down here to how. As you can see, we got a how right there. And there's our, there's our image file. Ta-da. Okay. So then we go up here and save this. It's updating the configuration. We're going to have to wait till it gets done. And unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to show you this when we reboot. We're going to have to use the camera again. <sighs> Bummer. All right, we can close this out. There's always that word. We're going to pause the video. And then bring you back in a second. When it's rebooted. I'll show the process on the camera. Okay, we're going to boot up how here so you can see the grub screen. I had to go back and fix it because I'm sure someone in the... Comments are screaming, hey, you need, to, need to change that to a PNG. Yeah, well, Grub doesn't like JPEGs. As you can see, we have our bootloader, Grub screen, that we wanted to start with. So, we'll continue to let Hal boot here. you'll be able to see that uh, you can see he's booting up on the screen for OBS <laughs> that's funny funny caught in on the capture card there's a certain point on this boot process on the screen here that energizes that, and there's no way I can, that I know of, to change that. I'm not even going to attempt to. I'll just do it by phone. <laughs> yeah, these are a little slow. But hey, they work. If you're watching videos, and uh, they're a little slow on the web, but hey, they work great. Especially when the power goes out and that's all you have to watch videos on. So here we are to boot screen. Login screen, I'm sorry. Hey, I'm old. Give me a break. So we'll continue on from here. On OBS. Okay, and we're back. <laughs> on OBS. I'll insert the video from the phone up to this point. So we're going to log back in. 
Let's see. Super secret password. No space shuttles launching here. Just to show that, you know, it's all booting again. And yes, I know it's slow. But hey, it's a filler for the video, right? <laughs> what do I know? It, uh, yeah. Good old Hal. He's always there when you need him. <laughs> I love both those movies. Yeah, well, that's questionable, Hal. Uh, let's go back and look at Hal. So as you can see, we're back to good old Hal. Hey, we got updates. Yay. Nice thing about Arch is you've always got something to do. Okay. Just wanted to show you that uh, I did have to go back and change the file. I figured it's just easier to do it off camera. As you can see, I changed the same file name to PNG. Like I said, I must have prepped this one and forgot all about it. It's the same file. <laughs> Imagine that. Well, you know, I want to how and style the same. I could use different ones. I still can. It's all a matter of editing the text file for the theme. Uh, you can change all the icons and, and uh, shadowing and all that stuff. Uh, you can download grab bootloader themes from various websites and incorporate them. Uh, you don't have to make them yourself at all. You just let use somebody else's wonderful work. But, I mean, this is my customizing, not ricing, my customizing that I do. And yes, I'm a fan of conkies. A lot of people don't like conkies, but as you can see, I have my CPU info memory and what's running and my drive space, my folders. Uh, sorry, I ain't showing you my network stuff. That's why none of this is working. But, uh, <clears throat> I do all the conky stuff pretty much for every machine. Some of them's customized for different machines. But as a rule, uh, I try to stay to one format. And right now the green and yellows are out and it's all blues. And there's some golds. <laughs> hey! What can I say? You know, best laid plans of mice and men. There's always a screw up somewhere. And that would be me. But, uh, this is my, this is my house, cell uh, laptops. Uh, just thought I'd make these wonderful videos. <laughs> Not that anybody wants to watch them. But anyway, just little things, you know, to spice up your desktop that you can use. And it's all, this is all done with Linux. Every bit of it. And there goes the phone because I forgot to turn the phone off. But, uh, I mean, you use the GIMP imaging program to modify the files. Uh, that's what I use to make all these files. Uh, just like uh, these here. All these backgrounds. All of these were done or edited in GIMP. I know it's new manipulation. Something or another, something or another, but it's called GIMP. I'm sorry. It's been that way for 30 years. It's going to be that way. You Karens can do what you want to do. Anyway, 
this is pretty much it for the video. I mean, except for all the editing and processing and cutting out the ands and ors and buts. And there's that word again. We're going to let House say it all. So. Thank you for watching Bruce's Eclectic World. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you like the videos, watch all of it. Some people don't watch but half of them, according to YouTube, but you can't believe them either. They're like lawyers. You know, their mouth's moving. Anyway... Thank you for watching. Be kind to others because you don't know when you're going to see them again. Or if you are. Especially with today's ongoing thing that's going on in the world. Human malware. Now we got a monkey pox. It just never ends. I guess the good Lord is trying to decrease the service population. Could be. He has a plan. He never tells us. But God bless. Be safe. And we'll see you in another video. Take it home, Hal. Has the mission been completed? You know that I have the greatest enthusiasm for it. The mission has been completed and you have carried out your program very well. Thank you.